Welcome to my practical malware analysis lab review. Here we're doing lab 1-4. First thing, let's get to our virus total. Let's go ahead and upload our file 1-4. Previously, it was detected four days ago, and 46 out of 54 found it, so we're looking at a pretty good uh, detection ratio. It might have been higher than the numbers I said, I kind of just glanced at them. 52 out of 64, so only 12 antiviruses did not find them. Let's look at file details. Packer is identified. So, PID did find this guy as the packer. So, was it packed? Yes. Uh, timestamp, it was created two years in the future. So, clearly, the timestamp is incorrect. We should not be able to unpack it. So let's go ahead and let's just look at our dependencies. We're looking at lab 1.4. First thing that we can tell is if we're dealing with like ADV API, that lets us know that uh, permissions uh, look up privileges, adjust tokens, so we know it's a permission issue or something that will manipulate permissions. Alright, but you know what? Let's go ahead and try to unpack it just in case. I'm going to go to my command terminal. Run it as an admin. UPX hyphen D hyphen O. Lab 0104. Unpack.exe. We're doing that from 0104.exe. Oh. Hope that I'm in the right directory. It wasn't packed by UPX, so we can't do that. Can we look at the strings available to it, though? Oh, luckily, we can look at the strings. We can look at some of the calls, get current process, win exec, write files, create files. So we know this is about being able to create a file or modify a file. Uh, it's going to modify something in system32 wupdmgr.exe. So that, that keeps popping up. It may even modify the DLLs that are underneath them. Again, notice there it is there. And we get a URL. So this could indicate that this program was created or to modify that location. And the string, this URL, and there is an updater, WinEXE, oh, updater.exe, there at the very end, could be used to actually download more malware. So one of the last things we want to do, yeah, let's go ahead, let's analyze this, let's analyze the bin file. We can see that there. As we start scrolling down, we can exe. We can see that it's going to be modifying certain programs. All right, so you know what? Let's use Resource Hacker. Let's see what we can do. Oh, you know what we can do is we can actually save it.
Nope, because that's going to save it as an executable. It wants us to save it so that we can analyze it. Desktop. And same thing. Basically, it wants us to show that we can use the resource hacker to to help save some of the files, different formats, different extensions, so we can analyze them in a slightly different way. Big part of this lab was to let you know that you can see that it'll access that URL to try to download an update.exe to try to probably install additional malware. If you have any questions about this lab, please let me know. Um, if you have any comments, again, leave them in the comment sections below. Uh, if you have any comments, I'll try to get to them as quickly as I can. Thank you, and you have a great day.